Now, if you haven't already done this, the first thing you want to do is go to File, click on New Model Database, and choose Standard Explicit Model. You know, the other option is a CFD model. CFD is Computational Fluid Dynamics. Uh, we are not dealing with fluids in this model, so we're going to go with uh, the first one. Now, there's two kinds of models. You know, it said standard slash explicit. A standard model is where you're simulating uh, forces and loads acting on an object that's in some sort of equilibrium. Whereas in a dynamic analysis, you might have, say, an object falling off a table, and you want to study how it breaks apart. So you've got a sort of impulsive loading going on there, and you might also be interested in the transient behavior of this object under loading. So you might want to see the stress distribution in the object change over time. And for that, you'd use an explicit analysis. But in our case, we're going with a simple standard static analysis. Now what you see over here on the left is the model database. The model database essentially consists of different models. And each model is made up of different modules, such as the parts, materials, sections, and so on. So when you create a simulation, you put it inside of a model. And this model contains all of the information Abacus needs to run the simulation. Information which you, of course, provide to Abacus. It's possible to create multiple models within one model database. This could come in handy if maybe you've gone ahead and populated this model, set up all the aspects of the simulation, and then you think to yourself, what if I want to just change one aspect of this? Well, maybe you could go right-click on the model and choose Copy Model. And if you did that, you would find another model appearing here in this tree. If I minimize that, you'd see Model 1 and then Model 2 after that. And then you can make a small change to that model and run that simulation. Abacus, by default, names the model Model 1. We can go ahead and give it a more descriptive name. Not so much because we need one over here, but because I want you to see how you can rename a model. So you move your mouse over Model 1 and right-click on it, and you can choose Rename. And so we're going to give it a slightly more descriptive name. I'm going to call it the Barbell Stand Model. And I will click on OK. And there you see the model's been renamed to Barbell Stand Model.